My name is Mike Martinez. I am from Union, New Jersey, and I play in a band called Natural Born Leader. With Natural Born Leaders, we play uh, kind of, it's very hard to describe, <laughs> a mix between hip hop, rock, funk, soul, a little bit of jazz um, combined into one. So I moved here from New Jersey. Originally, my uncle is a physical therapist and he moved here to open up a bunch of clinics. And they were telling me that they were gonna move to North Carolina and I'm like, why would you do that, you know? <laughs> I, I came down here and really fell in love with the music scene here. A lot of the people here, I mean, the people are nicer for sure. And maybe not nicer, That's maybe that's not the word. Maybe the people are more upfront nice you know at the beginning Asheville is also like one of the reasons why I like it maybe why the locals the locals probably aren't too thrilled about it but a lot of people are transplants a lot of the people here aren't from here in fact like most of the people that I know here aren't from here and uh, you know I have a few friends that are from here they're very into the idea of having you know the city constantly changing um, which in some ways for the better, in some ways for the worse. It's beautiful here, uh, for one, and it's way cheaper to live here than it was in New Jersey, and I can afford to be a touring musician and, you know, I also work several other jobs when I'm home. There is a particular brand of racism here <laughs> that I'm not a huge fan of um, or a fan of at all. But that's really about it. I don't like, there's kind of like, you know, there's once you leave Asheville and the surrounding, you know, unless you're in like a bigger city around here, the mindset of the people is a little bit different. And I feel a lot less welcome in those places. <laughs> Asheville is, is like, a, like you're in the desert and there's a mirage and it's like this beautiful city with like, you know, cool things. And it has its problems of its own. I won't say that. Asheville brands itself as a city of uh, that is filled with diversity and like, yeah, there may be a diversity in like food and the beer you could drink, but as far as the people go, there's not very much diversity here. Living in the U.S., the pros and cons of it. I feel like I've never lived anywhere else. Do you know The Sopranos? So I've been watching The Sopranos, and there's one episode where he's talking to a Ukrainian woman, and she's like, that's the problem with you Americans. She's like, you have too much time to think about yourselves. She's like, while the rest of the world is focused on surviving, y'all, you guys are just thinking about yourselves. And like, I feel that in like very many ways, and personally, even myself, like as much as, you know, I feel like I don't have it that bad here, you know, like in the grand scheme of things, like things could be better. And this country has definitely got a lot of work to do. And it was built on a lot of bullshit. <laughs> I feel like what's cool about this country is what I've been finding out through touring is that I could just go to another state and it's like being in another country, <laughs> you know? Like, if I go, California is like a whole nother world from Asheville. And, uh, you know, even New York is like a whole nother world from Asheville or upstate New York versus New York City or, you know, Florida or Texas. The cons to living here, I guess, is like, America is constantly at war with itself. You know, there's so many of us here that like, how could we all possibly be on the same page? And then we're supposed to believe in two ideas, like, you know, you're a liberal or a conservative or a Democrat or a Republican or a, or you're black or white. And, you know, there's like, you're constantly being, or you're a man and a woman and there's a, a problem. Spit killer, the thrill killer, the trendsetter, trendsetter, you know better. I listen to so much music. I listen to all everything, literally anything that you could think of. 
I may not actively listen to like you know a lot of things, but I, I don't know. Like if I had to choose like two things that I mainly listen to, I'd say hip hop and uh, indie rock. Um, I'm a big fan of grunge rock, and <laughs> I love old soul like Etta James or like Louis Armstrong or you know I, I, li I like it all anything I could even think of I've even listen to some Bridget Bardot recently <laughs> really yeah like I, li I listen to just fucking anything anything I could get my hands on we've got like thousands of records at the house and you know whatever if somebody's like hey check this out I'll listen to it and I could find something that I like about it um usually I always people are like you know people are like, oh, I don't listen to country music, and I don't believe that. I listen to country. I like country music. But who, who could not like Willie Nelson or Johnny Cash, you know? Um, but yeah, I listen to everything. Music, music impacts my life by keeping me alive. <laughs> <laughs> no, I really wouldn't I wouldn't be able to survive um, without it I don't I couldn't imagine a world in which I didn't play music in which I didn't get to do what I'm now that and now that I'm doing what I'm doing I couldn't imagine a world not doing it you know um, like traveling and playing music everywhere I just want to I just want to do more of it I just want to do it more and everywhere else I've been to so many countries that I've never been to or countries states that I've never been to back to our country's question um, so many states I've never been to and met so many people that I, I would have never had access to or um, you know it's just bought me you know and then I've met my best friends that you know some of the best friends that I've ever had through music um, and that's my band like those guys are definitely like just you know they're the homies <laughs> Wanna buy a piece of your time, wanna play, wanna fight, wanna love.